The Church of the Apostle Evangelist St. Matthew in Anikshche is 79 meters high, which makes it the highest church in Lithuania. The Neo-Gothic House of Prayer has been designed by the architect Nikolai Andreev in 1909. The impression of verticality and vigor of the basilica is created by tall and narrow steeples with spires, narrow arched niches in the facade, and high buttresses. Varying height pillars with Corinthian semi-columns make a unique and interesting highlight of the interior. The church features narrow arched windows with charming Gothic blind arcades underneath. The composition of the church is complete with a modest churchyard gate and the fence. The fence posts act as shrines for the sculptures of the Stations of the Cross created by Rimantas Idzilis in the 1980s. The historicist church of St. Anne in Traupis, built in 1892, features several styles. The rectangular plan, the gable roof, the rustic decor, rounded windows and pilasters speak of classicism. The semi-rounding apse and protruding steeple are common to Renaissance and Baroque architecture. The interior is even more eclectic. The three naves of the church are covered with colorful cross vaults. The great new Baroque altar, established under a semi-dome vault, is particularly spruce. The division of the side windows is characteristic to Neo-Romanesque style, while the confessionals feature Neo-Gothic elements. Trashkune St. Trinity Church, built in the second half of the 18th century, has been designed by the famous architect Martinus Knakfusas. The high front facade is predominated by a portico with a pediment, in the middle of which there is a balcony. The door of the balcony is decorated with a framing, featuring cross motifs and a triangular cornice. On both sides there are two rows of ionic pilasters, supporting the segmented upper part. The naves of the basilica are divided by massive pilasters. The great altar has been created by Karolis Jelskis, who decorated the interior in 1798. The building of the Bernardine Monastery was built in 1778 and reconstructed after a fire in the late 19th century. The most expressive features include the surviving Baroque two-level roof and the vaults covering the interior space. The school building, designed by Martinas Knakfusas, features a two-level roof as well. In 1803, the ensemble has been enriched with a steeple, designed by Pietro de Rossi. It has a sleek three-part helm and features notable characteristics of mature classicism. The Orthodox Church in Sudergis has been converted into the Church of the Assumption of the Holy Virgin Mary in 1918. This modest house of prayer features Renaissance characteristics, has a single steeple and is finished with a three-sided apse. The interior of the church is painted with stenciled ornaments. 
The central nave is covered with a cylindrical vault, while the presbytery has a semi-dome ceiling. The interior decor is highlighted by the spruce Great Neo Baroque Altar. Raguvele Manor building was built in the late 17th, early 18th century and features the style of mature classicism. The manor's major focus is the open portico with a frieze featuring animal motifs and a pediment with molded relief decor. The back facade features a closed timbre with an open balcony.